While we love you little ones, we ask that they spend the night elsewhere while we celebrate with our guests. No kids? It appears so. Where do they get off? <laughs> what do you mean? So as if traveling there, booking a hotel room, buying them a gift, committing an entire weekend to them isn't enough, you gotta find childcare too? You don't have kids. <laughs> it's the principal, Jerry! <laughs> Now you're a man of principle. So if they don't like my date, they can just say, ah, she can't come. You don't have one of those either. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's insane. You still, you only be able to decide who could come. Now you get to decide who can't come from the people who can come. You know, the way you're throwing a fit, you won't be allowed to come either, Georgia boy. Good. I made a one in the first place. And now we've reached the root of the issue. <laughs> she probably just doesn't want screaming kids during the ceremony. Oh, what? Like the maid of honor isn't gonna make a scene if she doesn't catch the bouquet? Not as much of a scene as you're making right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to this wedding, right? Oh, yeah, buddy. You know, uh, there's no kids allowed. Yeah! <laughs> Since when do you hate kids? The kids hog the dance floor. <laughs> How many times do we have to say, Oh, how cute! To a three-year-old doing this. <laughs> so you don't care about the kids during the ceremony. <laughs> just on the dance floor. That's where I shine. I need room to be able to... <laughs> We're gonna have even more room, cause I'm not going! Costanza stands with the kids! <laughs> You're about the same size. <laughs>